I mean, that's good. I, I, I'm more hung up on Shock Shun Shock and exactly how he uh, makes a mojito, <laughs> I think. Uh, you know, is he is he angling to join the steel drum band? My god. Dude, I'm a shark says he's a bathroom prophet. Uh, <laughs> and wow. That's true. He might actually be a bathroom prophet. I don't even know what that means. It, it freaks me out. Uh, well, speaking of the steel drum band, talk to me here. What's going on? Uh, the, you know, the steel drum band are uh, the steel fighting? drum band. <laughs> uh, let's see. They are in action tonight, I believe, right? Yeah, They're they fighting, absolutely are. Uh, Donafil Rossi and Brick Roberts, uncle and nephew team. And, uh, you know, I mean, uh, Nightsbane Cult and Vector Vang have proven themselves to work pretty well together for guys who initially didn't like each other. So uh, they're going to be teaming up. Of course, they uh, hold the trios championship, the, uh, the the shell necklaces that go together. But, uh, uh, you know, who knows what's going on with that. Oh, my God. Something yeah. happened. Nobody, <laughs> nobody cleaned up the weapons, I don't think. Uh, oh, God. We'll, well see. They're going to be happy about this, then. I don't know how... Uh, well, Yasanafil and Brick have competed in hardcore matches before. <laughs> Mr. Bianca is not wearing his armor. I don't know what's going to happen to him. Oh, boy. I mean, yeah. Now, look what... Now Brick's wearing his singlet. What the hell? What, what a weird... Maybe it's just like a pass, like they just pass it to each other, although it doesn't have the belly ribbon on it. Right. It's, it's <laughs> the <very> one shoulder <laughs> sink. <laughs> it's very SCFL for me to dwell on such a thing. <laughs> but like, why now? Why like today? Fashion. Why? This is like a fashion show, like, you know, like these guys are showing off their terrible fashion. <laughs> Chainsaw. I actually saw Bathroom Province open for 311 in 99. <laughs> I mean, that could definitely be a new SCFL band. Oh, God. Bathroom Profits. Write it down. Uh, I absolutely agree. I don't know who would be in this band, but... Maybe, uh... Maybe that's Jock Jean Chai's band. Chain I, I appreciate Chainsaw asks, when's the last time we saw Brick? Uh, it's been a few weeks. I think he was injured. I, you know, I you don't... Don't press me on that, but I think he was probably one of the injured. Or was that Yasanafil? Uh, both have been through some shit. It could have been anybody. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these guys... I, I know one of them had a really bad back injury from getting uh, a Tiki Torch to the back. Nice being cult looking good out there. Landing a lot of kicks. Picking up that barbed wire baseball bat, because why not? Oh, God, he lands on and gets stomped on. No blood so far. I mean, somebody left the... Somebody left all that crap out there. Maybe it was just like it really upset fixers. I don't know. I mean, I, I've been hearing some weird stuff about the fixers. Uh, they might have a new member, even. I don't uh, know. Choo Chai, or Chudley says Choo Chai should have a good uh, title fight with technology. I totally agree. I like that fight, Walsh. <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, that's, that's next week, I think. And uh, he still has to defend the Scramble title earlier in the night. And let's be real here, nobody can find that title usually uh, I don't know people what have of... including that dude with that hot topic fire shirt right there Sonophil has done it multi time holder I mean you know I just think the fixers with with let Lou become being serious uh, they need they need all the help they can get this chop battle is crazy with this it really shows. is <laughs> like these guys are like you know Uncle Brick is trying to show that he's that uh, there's more than one or two cool uncles in SCFL keep in mind that Uncle Brick here Vector Vang getting uh, slapped in he is the bassist for nice uh, yeah yeah he he, uh, he he plays the bass along with Ron Lewis there's no actual like harmonic instrument in this band just like there's no actual drums it's just you know <laughs> saxophone is with his little mallets hitting a steel drum in a really strange way, not that's anywhere near a drum. It's I I don't get why this band exists, how they exist, uh, yet they do, and they apparently sell a lot of uh, 
say singles on iTunes. Yeah, just I guess from the Margar- Sweden. Uh, yeah, well, the Margaritaville kind of fan base is really loyal to their own. So even if uh, you know, even if their their core founder isn't really loyal to anything other than branding, we've been seeing a lot of very gory <laughs> shows lately. Like, I mean, I. I feel like we show up kind of expecting this to be just, you know, a nice wrestling show, and there's times where it gets really bad. This is not one of them. This has been a surprisingly blood-free show considering the circumstances so far. I mean, look at all the weapons in the ring, and these guys are just kind of like, eh, they're kind of squeamish about it. And uh, I think they're just pretending, like, as long as I don't make him, if I don't grab the weapon, he won't. And Cult, of course, is the guy who's like, nah, I'm going to grab a weapon, but he's not in right now, so... Well, I, you know, as soon as I said that, Brick, of course, picked up a Tiki torch and then dropped it, but... <laughs> uh, who, who even knows anymore? I'd like to uh, point out, for those of you that are just joining us, or we get new people watching every week, we know this is dense. We have Brick Roberts and that new little singlet choking Vector Vang bassist enthusiast. Um, Brick Roberts, he, he takes steroids a lot. <laughs> he takes a lot of steroids, but he lives a very sedentary lifestyle. Sedentary. Uh, sedentary. Sorry. Um, so, like, it, he's basically just a normal person. He takes a ton yeah. of steroids, he just, but he, he, just... he sits for, like, 18 hours a day. I, I mean, this is the most athletic thing he does. It's usually maybe once a week he'll do something physical. Yeah, I mean, maybe once a month. Look at him. He's gassed. They're not even 10 minutes in, and he's this is a tag match. Yeah. Like, this, is, this man is just he's like <laughs> i like that he went for like a like a move while yasanafil was doing one and he couldn't actually do it so he just really committed to the whole like <laughs> act of pretending like he was doing it he was embarrassed and <laughs> see asanafil versus vector this can get good now very oh, yeah. weird start to this show with these weapons just laying here <laughs> You know, I like I said, I've heard like a rumbling of that there might be a new inductee to the Fixer group. You know, this seems like a Fixer fuck up, if you ask me. You oh know? yeah, absolutely. Well, like, there they needs just started to be. Literally... Yeah, I mean, I wasn't paying attention. I, when I hear, when I know the Fixers are doing something, I just don't pay attention anymore. And I guess I should be paying attention then. I mean, Walsh, I, I, I'm shocked that we haven't said this, but Nice Bang Cult and Vector Vang are 66% of the trio's champions. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we mentioned at the beginning of the match, but... Oh, I'm are, sorry. You know, they're competing here in the tag team match because, well, let's be real here, the trio's, like, especially with the, the two-thirds of the Sons of Anger tag team gone, uh, who knows what the future is of that title. Man, I... I I'm willing to talk to whoever I need to talk to, which is could be just about anybody in this fucking place. Um, my God, that parquet floor to the belly that we've seen that end people. So have we seen those knees. Um, yeah. I think the trio's title needs to go away. We need to be honest with ourselves. Oh, crazy Oof. brain buster. Like arm under. Wow. What the hell? That was awesome. Um, Brick slowly getting in here. It's over. Oh, Isanafil kicks out. Um, I, I just really think that the trios was a good idea. We tried. We've seen our belts go away before, um, and the trios also needs to go away. Uh, you know, I, I mean, if there was more competition for it, you know, if, if maybe if uh, Tapas hadn't failed in, in putting together a, a group, he definitely failed in that. Uh, we lost literally the best trios team we had. Uh, I, I don't know. Having a hard time with this. Yeah, I, I would I would even consider leaving it up to the chat room and see what they think. I, the trio titles, there's just not enough people. So many of the people are gone. We had lost a bus full of people. We kind of did. A lot of... Wow, man, there's a lot of chops going on in this, this match. It's, it's pretty it's a, fun to watch. It is. It's a weird match. Like, what the hell is Brick doing? Some, Brick some is... Some cool, sexy dance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like that every dance is going to be cool and sexy. Like... 
He's that's that's like the like I'm a fat guy. Watch me run in place. Thing. Like I don't know if that's a dance. Is that a dance? I don't. Know. I'm willing to give Brick a shot, but his uncle wrestling style is just. It, it's really hard to watch sometimes. Uh, Chudley says he wants the trio title go away to get replaced by Atomicos. We had an Atomicos belt. I think well, like, I'm starting to think that there might be too many belts. Yeah, it got a little confusing because it was for like membership in the Steel Drum Band or like, and then you know Rastaban kind of probably should have been put in the band, and then the band just didn't want to add him in, and then they just never defended that yeah. thing. It was, it was really. Uh, <laughs> it was like a weird like. Passive aggressive title. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. There was these weird rules in place of like if somebody got pinned, they had to leave the steel drum band. Yeah. And the person who pinned it's like it, it just and it didn't happen because these guys have actual like cl you know set in stone contracts about what they need to do musically. So it's like you know Bike really tried to instill like these weird rules and then it didn't work out because of uh, basically uh, Knights Bane Cult. And uh, Vector Vang's original contract to start the Steel Drum Band, which is really convoluted in its own right. Right. Basically, these two men fought, and uh, if, if Vector won, he was a big fan of Knights Bane Cults. They had to start a band together, and they did. And then, for some reason, anytime Cult lost, somebody had to join the band, and it's just, it was terrible. I mean, even explaining it is, is hell. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but we have a four-man band now. They exist. Uh, they, they they're good. They know each other. Like they can. Yeah, they they sell singles on iTunes to the parrot heads out there. We gotta the get their their backyard barbecue um, performance. Yeah, that was Ooh, it was Sonifil. legendary. Oh God, big uh, light tube over the head of Night's Bane Cult. Wow, he's trying to go a little hardcore. Oh God, right under that barbed wire bat. Sonophil always is showing off. He, you know what? He is a, he is a guy who has a lot of physical talent. He just, uh, he has really bad ring IQ. Um, he's not. He's just. He's entertaining, but give him that. Uh, his uncle is the exact opposite, which is really funny. You know, and I think Vector Vang is a guy that hasn't gotten enough in-ring time to really show who he is. And every time I see him, I like him more and more. I agree. I feel like Vector Vang was kind of a dude. Oh, God, another one of those big brain busters. Vector Vang in kickboxing. Like, Night's Man Colt is a former multi-time kickboxing champ. Vector right. Vang was always a dude who had, like, fun matches but never really made a name for himself. Oh, now he's got a barbed wire bat. I mean, teaming up with with uh, Nightsbane is is only going to do good things for him because Cult is an asshole, but he is uh, a talented asshole, and that is hard to admit because he's a decent musician, even though his form of music is kind of not everybody's cup of tea. And uh, he is a talented fighter in the ring. It's uh. You know, we're seeing the weapons get involved, and it's, uh, I wasn't expecting that, but you gotta, you gotta expect once in a while that somebody sees, it's Chekhov's barbed wire bat, and table yeah. scrap, and light tube, and, and, uh, tiki torch, you gotta, you know, it's gotta come into play sooner or later. I've even actually some been people, really caught, uh, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, even if some people literally just discovered Chekhov's gun. Oh yeah, I'm just really enthralled by the chat, uh, which is, as I said on Twitter, man, one of the reasons to watch the show, this chat, love it live. Uh, unfortunately on YouTube, you're not gonna see the chat, so. No, but you, you can, can always go it. to our Twitch it, channel, and for a while, you can, uh, I, it, I don't remember what the time frame is. No, I have them forever now. I oh, have them sweet. all saved. But, you know, YouTube is good too, which is a reminder down below if you're on Twitch. Please follow us on YouTube. We do tons of stuff like the match of the week, clips of the week, the best matches. So much of the show is there. 
And speaking of the best matches, this is turning into quite the match, isn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, these are these are two teams that are just like these guys know how to work together. I mean, the Steel Drum Band. I mean, they write and record music together. Uh, this is Yasana Phil and his uncle. And uh, you know, they're they're two teams that know how to work together. Tiki Torch. Oh man, Vector Vang just unable to like get a shot off with any of these weapons. Oh, that's in the right corner. Ah, oh, it's a rope break. That might be it. Get it, get it. Three! Yeah! Hell yeah! Ooh. Son the fill. Night Spring Pull it kinda comes in a little bit slow there. Good match. Good match, though. Yeah, 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 it was good. I mean, Yasanafil, always entertaining, always looking... 96% with the Frankensteiner win. Wow. All right. All right. Let's see here. So let's see here. What do we have next? That is the question, Walsh. That's the question that we're all wondering. Uh, you know, we have a last oh, man standing fuck. match. Between Credit and Wigwam. Uh, yeah. These guys have been kind of having their own weird little feud the past uh, past week or past couple of weeks, and uh, they're one for one. So. Let's see here. I don't know. Well, uh, go through their matches. Uh, you know, they, they had their first match, which was a hardcore match, which. Uh, they, somehow they ended up in one of those barb, exploding barbed wire rope matches, and uh, 